What's going on? Uh, today, I didn't take the, the um, camera out on my bike because um, I, I had my skin suit on and there's only two pockets in the skin suit. So I was like, I was like, oh, I was like, oh, I'll just, just don't need to vlog today. So now I'm going to go, going out to the point because it's such a lovely day. As you can see. So I'm going to go down to Wellington Point, fly my drone, and then find a little quiet corner, do a bit of a Q&A. That's what we're going to do today. We're not going to do a normal riding vlog like I do every time, but just going to do a normal, a little cruisy Q&A vlog with some drone footage and just chill out. So yeah, keep watching if you want to watch that. It'll be so interesting, I believe. So, um, I hope this doesn't slide. So yeah, today I did an FTP test. Um, it was pretty painful, but I actually didn't feel too cooked. So it was just a 20 minute test and you take 95% of that average power and that's your FTP. So yeah, today um, it ended up being, it's 4.3 watts per kilo for the 20 minutes, but then 95% of that made it 4.1 watts per kilo. So it's definitely an improvement from my last one and yeah, stoked. So yeah, just heading down the point. It's a lovely day. I'm just gonna fly the drone, just do a couple of shots, get my uh, head back in the drone game. And um, yeah, it should be sweet. Um, it's not too windy or anything, so good day to fly the drone. The tide will be in, so it might look pretty cool. I don't know. But we'll soon find out. Hopefully it'll be good. Hopefully there's not too many people down here because people get funny with the drone. They're like, oh, it's a drone. Oh. finger was a peace sign, yeah We were sipping on emotion Smoking and inhaling every moment It was reckless and we owned it The drone flying is over for now, but um, here's a bit of a Q&A. Uh, just random questions from the latest vlogs. So someone said, are you not worried that there might be creatures in that water that I walked through? Not really. I mean, there, there's no crocodiles this far down south, so it's fine. Someone asked me, uh, where are your beets? Uh, I returned my beets and I didn't get another replacement. I just got a gift card for Apple and I'm gonna get the uh, AirPods. So when we don't have any in stock in Australia at the moment, but um, yeah, <laughs> gonna get them when they come in stock. They're supposed to come in stock on the 12th of January. So any, any day after that. How can Steve bunny hop but not track stand? Steve just cannot balance. He just has no balance. Sometimes he falls over just crouching down like, I don't know, cooked. What do you use to, to secure your bike when at the coffee shop? Normally we don't secure it at all. It's normally just right there in front of us anyway, so we can see it. Um, I normally get worried at like 7-Eleven if people are going to steal my bike, but they don't, so so far so good. But that's where I'm normally worried. It's not at coffee shops because there's normally heaps of cyclists. I don't stop at coffee shops if I'm on my own. I have not tried Dovetail at Norman Park. I'll have to give it a go. I'm sure Steve will want to try a new place. What's your crank le length? My crank length. On my cat it's 165, on the Willier it's 170. What type of power meter do you use and feedback? Uh, I use the 4i non-drive side power meter 
Uh, at the moment, I'm waiting for my 4i for my Cannondale. Hopefully, I get it before TDU, but there's been a bit of a backlog with the pro teams wanting to get theirs in time and everything. So, hopefully, it's been two, this is going to be two months that it's been ordered for. So, they're awesome power meters, and I've never had a problem with my current one. But because I have to get it welded on to the um, Cannondale SI crank, it has to go to Canada. So we're getting an ETA shortly and we'll know more about that soon. But I may be going to TDU without a power meter, which isn't the end of the world, but it's not ideal. Uh, everyone has a go at me for my uh, rusty bolts, some like rusty stem bolts. So I just haven't changed them because it's just like, it's just, it doesn't bother me. Normally that kind of thing would bother me, but I don't know. I think it's kind of quirky and um, I don't know, it bothers other people. So maybe that's why I don't care because I like to annoy people. I guess. So, yeah. If you want to send me some bolts, feel free. I swear every time I, I discuss tyres or something in the vlog, everyone jumps on and says Continentals are the best, but I've never had a problem with Vettestein. They're amazing, so I suggest you try them. Road bike riders worry about what they're wearing too much. Wow. Uh, as much as everyone picks on Chris Froome, just got to say, I really enjoy his book, and I reckon everyone should read it. What brand are my wireless headphones? Well, they were Beats X. They work perfectly fine, but then they break. So, I don't know, man. If you're not gonna use them for sport, I guess they're okay. But mine, the way that they broke in both of them, it was nothing to do with sport. It was just, things just stopped working. So, I don't know. They were great. They sounded really amazing, but they, they broke, so. Unreliable at best. Three out of five stars. Where do you put your camera on your bike when you're not using it? I just put it in my right hand side back pocket and I just whip it out. My phone goes in the middle and then the other side has the um, has like my money and gels and stuff. Uh, someone said no races in a while, what gives? Uh, there's no races on, it's sort of the new year and stuff so I'm going to race in Adelaide, I'll do a crit race down there and uh, we might even, Nathan said we'll do the time trial up Norton Summit. Don't know how I'll go there, but have a crack. The Willia isn't being retired, retired. It's just gonna be like a Sunday bike. So it's gonna be like, or like just a whatever bike. I mean, it's just my CAD's gonna be my main bike. So the theory behind using the CAD more than the Willia is, if I ride the Willia half as much, it's gonna last twice as long, which is what I want. And one day it will properly retire, but I would just like to, um, let it last a little bit longer. Do I ever say hi to other cyclists you pass? I do actually, and I've actually been making a conscious effort to wave to as many cyclists as I can. Obviously I'm not waving to everyone because I'd never put my hands in the bars, but I am waving, and a lot of people don't. You wave and then they just, they don't wave back, not even a head nod. So, I don't know. I can hear another drone. Anyway. Uh, what drone do I have? I have the DJI Spark. It is so nice and compact. It withstands pretty strong winds. Um, I'm probably just too scared to take it out further. But uh, today it's sort of windy, but um, you know, it still withstands the wind and it's really good. It gives a really good picture and I don't know, I really like it. I'm going to take it to the TDU. Um, hopefully film as much as I can. Just some, you know, maybe some night shots and just heaps of stuff. So I'm pretty keen and Pretty keen for TDU, honestly, I'm getting so pumped up. Guys, that's pretty much the end of the q and I'm pretty much gonna go home now and have a nap and stuff. I'm pretty tired, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, let me know if you have any further questions and I'll answer them in another vlog. But yeah, keep watching, keep subscribing. Uh, I'm really enjoying uh, doing these vlogs and um, I can't wait for TDU where I can give you so much content and hopefully some rider interviews and stuff like that. So. I'm keen, I'm keen, I'm keen to keep this channel going for 2018, I have some, I'll do another video on like my goals for the year and stuff, but yeah, I'm pretty keen. Hope you guys are enjoying it and uh, I'll see you on the next one. We were lovers on the wild ride, speeding for the finish line.